<laughs> I'm so bad at framing. <laughs> framing. Taste test. I like how cold they are too. Mm -hmm. No brine added. I expected them to just be like a snack, but you have to um like they're like refriger oh. refrigeratable. Oh. Super spicy, mm -hmm. but it's still like hot. I love it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I hate the tripod so much. <laughs> the amount of times that it's just like fallen over my camera's fallen to put the tripod. Ridiculous. Yeah. I know, I really have to get it. <gasps> oh no, sorry. Okay. Yeah, but I, I already like the size, you know? Mm -hmm. I was seeing Lee use it, and I was like, I really like it. It's not like a super mixed medium. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah. Okay. I've heard very good things about these things. Oh my god, this is so nice. Welcome back to a brand new studio vlog. Um, I haven't filmed in like two weeks, so I felt, this is like my third take. My previous two takes I felt were just too cringe and I'm just like, I gotta do it again. But I feel like once you don't film for like a really long time, turning on the camera and speaking to it, it's just like, it's a very cringe activity. <laughs> Been a while since I've talked to the camera. I thought we'd do a bit of a catch up. One, I got sick. And two, I went on vacation. <laughs> Robert and I went to like a little cabin trip and it was very sweet. We went to Big Bear and I've never been there before. So it was very nice to see like really tall trees and just like get away into nature and stuff. Um, that was really nice. And we got back, we, we spent like around three or four days there. And then we kind of spent the rest of the week just hanging out and not working and like went to the beach, we went to Kina Kania and just did some fun like LA things that we like to do. And yeah, it was a very nice week. And yesterday, actually, I met up with Megan and Vicky and we got brunch. And then Vicky and I went to like a flea market and we hung out in Echo Park. And it was just a really sweet day. Um, so I've had a very relaxing past week of like doing activities and not really working on work stuff. But the week before that, I was sick. So um, the week before that, I was just like, wow, I have so much free time for once. Like I finished all of my product design and I just didn't have any pressing responsibilities. So I was like, finally, I'm gonna take the time to work on something tober prompts and I'm gonna like experiment artistically. And then I got sick, so I didn't do any of that. I actually haven't done any Inktober stuff. I did um, one of Jisoo's prompts and I did like a peach tober day one prompt, but other than that, like I haven't been doing anything at all. Um, I think in one of my previous vlogs, I was just like, I'm gonna do all this Inktober things and I'm so excited. And, like it's or over halfway through October and I've barely done it, which is honestly okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm getting off track. The, my biggest responsibility this week though is packing Patreon mail and preparing for my shop update. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot more chill than my shop updates usually are. Like I've been repeating like a broken record. Um, I'm not doing any handmade items this time around. So everything I'm selling is manufactured and I basically just have to take pictures of prints and stickers and I feel like that's always the fastest part of my process. So that's very exciting. So hopefully it won't be 
to bath. Okay, and now I wanted to share some of the products I got. Okay, so the first thing, and probably what I'm most excited about for this entire update, I'm just so excited about in general, are my freezer grab prints. This is my good soup print. Um, I'll put some more B-roll over this so you can get like a look, good look at all the textures and stuff. But I really like it. I'm so happy about it. Like, it's a great size too. I think it's like a bit larger than the, the prints I've sold in the past. And I love the colors. I'm super happy with the colors I selected. And yeah, I think the printing press did a great job. I'm proud of myself for the design. Like, I think I kind of went off on this design. I really think it's pretty good. I ordered a hundred, so there will be a hundred available. Maybe in the future I'll restock them um, if people would like. So I ordered the, these prints from a printing press called Resolve Studio. They're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And I, w I really wanted to get them printed locally, but I just had some trouble with a lot of the LA presses that I contacted. Like one press like I couldn't get in touch with, another wasn't being very communicative. So I went with this printing press, uh, Resolve. They had a, they have like a lot of followers on Instagram and they had a really good portfolio. And I just, I don't know, I just had a really great customer experience. So I would also really recommend um, them if you want to get stuff printed. They sent me this sample pack. They're just like really pretty too. This little decal sticker, which is pretty funny. This little zine of just like printing examples. Um, something I'm actually really happy about are all these color profile charts they sent me. I just really like the look of them, so I really think uh, I think I want to hang them up, but I think it'll be like really cute decor, like, like right here. There's also like postcard prints um, inside this thing, super cool. I love Risa Grub so much, I just think the colors are so fun, the textures are so fun. Another thing I liked about this, stu this studio is that they had a lot of color choice options. I think um, different printing presses will have different options available just because those are like the, the inks they carry. So you're kind of limited to the palettes of that particular press you're going with. But I found that Resolve had a lot of different color choices. So that's yeah, super cool. Let me send me this sweet note. Um, yeah, I thought the business card design was also pretty cool too. So these are my Patreon benefits. So happy with how they came out. This will be the Patreon benefit for October. So if you're interested in this cute little kitty postcard you can sign up within this month and you'll get it in the mail along with this sticker that i will show you i think it's so cute i really love it so this will be another print in my new shop update let me focus i haven't took it out of the plastic wrap yet but i'm gonna have the muscle pairs that i showed in a previous video as well as two <laughs> sorry the tape got me <laughs> as well as two new Halloween themed stickers. So I have this one. It's a pumpkin spicy theme, super cute. I really like it. Um, yeah, he's a little wizard. It's pretty cute. Back to work. I just finished this little comic that I'm gonna post because I haven't posted in a while. 
and I kind of just want to do it for fun. I got inspired by um, this little apple doodle I did in the park with Vicky the other day. These little apple guys. Sorry, this is my Patreon uh, sketchbook tour, but yeah, these little apple people, and I wanted to make a comic with them. And I thought I would talk a little bit about my comic making process, just in case, I don't know, people were curious. But something I feel like it took me way too long to learn is that putting on drawing guide can be really useful, especially when it comes to text. Um, because I literally can't draw in a straight line. So, I mean, I can't, I cannot draw nor write in a straight line. So, um, the drawing guide helps so much when I'm overlaying text. And then also another thing that I find useful is setting your selection tool to snapping. Cause then when it snaps, you can get perfectly in the center there and it'll just align with that yellow line. So yeah, just two little things that I found pretty useful. Ignore this plant shady lighting, but I mailed something to my sister because they it's harder for people to go to Daiso on the East Coast and we just have so many here. So I sent her a bunch of like fun Daiso things. Um, and I also had a bunch of craft paper lying around and Spicy loves like craft paper. She likes to like lie in it and like use like a slip and slide. So I put it in the package and I said like more Spicy. Um, and look at this. She loves it. <laughs> Here's another one. So cute. Good evening. It is now much later in the day. I finished my comic and I worked on my website a little bit. I also wanted to get my flu shot because I highly recommend you get your flu shot if you, if you can. And now I'm making dinner and I feel like I'm kind of putting the same things in my vlogs these days so I kind of want to switch it up. I'm making moussaka which is a Greek eggplant beef dish. Um, it's really good. You basically make, put like a layer of uh, baked eggplants and a layer of this really nice rich tomato beef sauce and then eggplant and you like layer it and then you put bechamel sauce all on top of it and sprinkle with breadcrumbs and bechamel is like a very beautiful thick milk and butter sauce um, with Parmesan cheese and egg yolks and it's just like it's very very good um, the beef mixture also has cinnamon in it and it's just like really fragrant I basically do like my own easy at home spin on it so yeah it's this is definitely not authentic <laughs> and I have a lot of these eggplants so I might have to do them in like two batches but that's okay we got time Okay, so now we're going to add ingredients. Tomato paste. Again, I don't measure anything, so I eyeball everything. Yeah. Add soybean paste. This is definitely not in the, um, the recipe, but I tried it once as just like an experiment, and I find that it adds a lot of depth of flavor. And then I also, this could be overkill. I also add a, this better than bouillon. <laughs> boink, boink. Robert's also filming for me right now. He's doing a great job. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> this is funny. This is because I don't have stock. Normally you put in beef stock, and I don't, so I'm just going to add the. I like to add two. But you pretty much only need one. Maybe you can get a job with some of those people who film cooking videos all up close, you know. I'm so bad at it. My hands are too shaky. <laughs> i pour this in. Damn, that's a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> I shouldn't have put all those in. It's fine. Yeah, I just mix it up and then we just let this simmer for like an hour. And then while that's happening, we'll work on the bechamel sauce.
not super pretty, but I know it's gonna taste very, very yummy. Like, just wear a sweater. You don't need a heater. Wearing a sweater doesn't stop my face from getting cold. <laughs> Where is ski mask? <laughs> While you're working. Still doesn't stop my eyeballs from getting cold. <laughs> As if we never left that cabin. It's not that bad. I'm so cold. Really? Maybe you're getting sick. Cause I'm not that cold. Oh my god, I just put my fingers in my teeth. It's so gross. Why do you flick it? You flick it all across the room like spicy. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Today is Tuesday. I'm eating my little grapes and I'm working on formatting all of my address labels. Uh, for Patreon. This month I have about 60 something people in my spicy mail tiers. So that's really exciting. I'm always nervous that I'm going to end up not sending a patron their mail or maybe even double sending or just like making a mistake with all these addresses and stuff because also if you didn't know this, on the back end, Patreon is not set up in the best way for creators in my own opinion. Um, it's really confusing to see who signed up when and it's just not the most user friendly in my experience so it can get a little bit confusing so i developed this system i put all of the data you can export all your patron data as a csv and then i just put it into a google sheet and then i look um from there and i can format it accordingly so before i ship out anything i'll just like make a little mark like a little yes on a column just so i know for sure like okay i sent this out um occasionally i'll get like someone join on in the middle or even the end of the month. Sometimes I'll be like, oh shit, did I send this out yet? So the spreadsheet's very helpful. So right now I'm kind of finishing up formatting that and I'm putting all the addresses and I'm going to print them out using my little address labels. I have to take product photos. So that's probably gonna be the bulk of today also. So pack the mail, product pictures. I also wanna edit them as well. I ended up talking to the customer service people from both Big Cartel and Shopify and I was able to get my domain successfully transferred over. So the little, for the shop update, it's gonna be studiomeggy.com and I'm really excited about it. I also made a little header. I'll put a picture of it here so you can see what it looks like, but yeah, I'm really excited. I think Big Cartel is nice because you still get like the fun of having your own storefront, but I do think Shopify is a lot better in like customizing your store to like look how you want. I think Big Cartel is much more limited, but it's also cheaper. So I'm just kind of trying to navigate my way through it and customize what I can to make it look good. Yeah, a lot of admin stuff is going on here, but yeah, let's get to work.
Remember, want to show everybody your water bottle? It's coming. <laughs> That's it. It matches you. I know. It actually looks so cute. I'm yeah. actually wearing a blue shirt underneath. Nice. You want to show it? We got this water bottle this weekend. It's really cute. <laughs> That's it. Hey, I'm not supposed to show it. You're supposed to show it. I'm shy. Anyways, so I just finished taking all my product pictures and it took way less time than I expected. Um, which is nice. I think it also it takes me like the whole day. Um, back when I lived in Brooklyn, it took me like the whole day to take all the pictures. And I think not only did I have a lot more products, like I would take pictures of like every single earring and also the backs of all the earrings and then all of the B grade earrings. But I think my setup was a lot less optimized in the New York apartment. There was only daylight coming in from one side of the apartment and on that side we didn't have any tables or anything set up so I'd have to make like a whole new setup and sometimes I would put like my cutting mat on top of Spicy's bed just because she had like a window seat and then the light came in really well there so she would never be happy about me doing that. <laughs> um, but here is really convenient because I just took pictures right on my desk and I have a really large white desk and I don't have to move the desk in front of the window because I have a window right there. Um, I want to talk about some quick things before I go on my lunch break. I realized I never talked about my shirt that came in. It came in when I was sick, so obviously I didn't vlog about it because I was ill, but um, I ordered a sample and it came and it's so cute. It's a bit wrinkly just because I wore it while I was camping and I just took it out of my luggage, but this is what it looks like. I posted some photos of them on Instagram and I'll put them here if you haven't seen them already but I really like it. I was a bit nervous with how it come out because I never made shirts before. When I get them produced, all the shirts that you potentially will receive will be screen printed. I did some research and I think screen printing might be better in the long run, like more long lasting. And yeah, I made sure to spend a little bit extra on getting a more heavyweight t-shirt. My friend Maimuno had a shirt from another artist that was this brand and I really liked um, just like how thick and heavyweight and soft that particular t-shirt was because sometimes you get shirts and you're like, eh, it just doesn't feel as substantial. But I really like how this shirt feels. It was a little bit more expensive to get them printed on this shirt, but I feel like I always want to make stuff that I would buy. I think I mentioned this in my previous video, but they're all going to be pre-ordered just because I really don't know how much of each shirt I should order and I really don't want to be I got a loss and then end up with like all these shirts. Uh, the benefits of the pre-order is that I can make sure that everyone has enough of each size um, and the company ships all the way up to 3XL which is super cool because size inclusivity is very very important. So I did a little art trade with um, Joanna, aka Joanna Clay Design. I have some of her prints up and they're really, really beautiful. She sent me some really beautiful stickers and they're all really large and nice quality printing. She has a very cohesive color palette and it's really, really, really nice. So nice. And she sent me a lot of handmade items, which I was very, very honored because I know how much time it takes. This really cute little house. I think these will look really, really cool and like elevate some of my outfits. Like I love everything she sent me, but I think like my most favoriteest thing was um, she made a spicy portrait. Um, and I was just like so stunned because it's really beautiful. I'm gonna put footage over this because I don't wanna like hold it up because I've already framed it and I look at it every day. Um, but it's just really beautiful. Thank you, Joanna, so much for sending me all these things. I really appreciate it. And everybody else, please go check her out. Art is wonderful, beautiful, and she also makes studio vlogs. And if you watch studio vlogs, you should check out her studio vlogs. <laughs> That's it for now. I'm gonna go take my lunch break and I'll check in with you later. Bye. Robert, this squirrel's obsessed with you. Literally just staring at me. Art mail that I have received. I'm so excited because I have done an art swap with Megan Wang, aka Studio Maggie. I was so excited that she was like up to doing an art swap with me. It was really nice. So I sent her. This juicy stack is going out to all my patrons, so thank you to everybody who signed up this month. 
excited for you to get your mail. I also use these spooky silhouette stamps because I just think they're so fun. I kind of wish, I kind of need to buy more because I ran through like four sheets of this, but um, they're just so pretty and they're really holographic, so I think I want to get some more. No one's ever called me a smoke show to my face that I'm aware of either, but I would say I have heard people use it, but like not in several years. It's, it's out of date. I was like, you clearly didn't watch the shows. I know. Um, the other thing, them through their stuff, I was like, Hello, today is Wednesday. Yesterday I finished packing all of my Patreon mail. It takes me like four hours to pack everything and I know I could streamline the process just by not doing belly bands and not writing everyone a note, but uh, I just really like having a nice presentation for my patrons, so there's a lot to think about process-wise. Uh, but today I basically have to finish all of my shop update prep work. So hopefully by the end of today, all my shop will basically be ready for launch. So that's really nice that I finished like way before my deadline or way before the shop update, because typically in the past I will work like right up to the day. So yeah, it turns out not making handmade stuff saves you a lot of time and makes the process like way easier. I have to make the Instagram marketing promo thing, so I'll typically take a picture. Uh, I have the photo already of like all of my new items and I like to sort of draw on it and like add text and just make it more, you know, visually interesting. And the next big thing that I want to do today is inventory. But the tricky thing is, is that because Big Cartel doesn't handle that tax, a lot of artists I've seen who are not on Etsy will have a separate Etsy shop just for EU and UK customers. And it's just annoying that other um, websites don't handle this. Like I know Shopify hasn't and Squarespace, I don't think does either. I'm actually not sure about that, but at least I know for sure Big Cartel, which is what I'll be using, doesn't. So I have to split my inventory and I'm really not sure how I should split it. And then the last thing I wanna do today is make a little shop update preview post for my patrons. It's something I like to do for all my shop updates. Um, just because I like to give my patrons a little behind the scenes look at what I'm doing and I think like a shop update preview post is really nice because you get to kind of check out everything that I have before everybody else does because I don't know it's always hard to balance like the exclusive content I want to share my patrons and really make their pledge worth it while also making sure like if you can't support me on patreon you still get to see my stuff you know it, it's really really difficult to balance actually but anyways I'm going to get tackled how do we get tackled? I'm going to tackle all of these tasks. lunch I'm going to be having some deconstructed onigiri um, just because I'm too lazy to like assemble it all together but all the ingredients are here it just doesn't look as nice we wanted to organize when we open I don't know what footage I have for this video but I thought I would just sit down and we could chat a little bit more. I want to talk about video games. I talked about games a few times before um, in past videos and yeah I just love chatting about it. So I, if you don't know, I played Stardew Valley for a really long time. Like that was like my go-to game for a while um, after I got sick of Animal Crossing. But now the Animal Crossing um, update, or I don't know what people are calling it, but there's a tons of new playable stuff that's coming to Animal Crossing really soon. So I'm just like debating like should I get back into that? All the stuff it does look very exciting like i think the farming aspect is what i like the most it hasn't been a long time since i've touched 
Animal Crossing like several several months so I could get back into it. I think I just get to this point where I play games obsessively for like hours on end and I'll rack up hundreds and hundreds of hours and then I'll just get to the point where I'm like okay I just can't do this anymore and I played over a hundred hours on my Stardew Valley game. It got to the point where I was just like so used to it and I just like couldn't play it anymore which is kind of sad because I genuinely do really love Stardew Valley but oh it's called Garden Story I think and it looks so cute like I do recommend it if you like like adventure and task based games. Um, it's 2-bit and I really like that style of game like it's just very satisfying for me to play. The art is really cute. I really like the music. Um, Storyline is very charming. You're like this little grape named Concord and I thought it was so funny. It was like he doesn't have many ambitions or any kinds of like goals. And I was like I freaking love that. I, I, I liked it. I played it for a little bit but I just couldn't get past all of like the task stuff. I don't know. I, I'm sure everyone has different preferences when they play games, but I really like um, life sim games basically. And at first I was like really enjoying like the world. There's like a lot of world building in the garden story, but I just couldn't get past all the tasks. I'd be like, oh, you want me to do that again? Like, you want me to go over here and go over there? And I was just like, I just want to farm. Like, if I was a little grape farming stuff, I feel like that would be like my ideal game. If you've played Garden Story, what your thoughts are. Also, if you, I'm curious if you're going to start playing Animal Crossing again, if that's something you played before. Cause I don't know, I just like, all the new Animal Crossing stuff is really exciting to me. And like, I, I do think they added a lot of important things that like fans and like players of the game have wanted for a really long time and like listen to that critique, but I don't know if it's enough. So I'm curious if you played Animal Crossing before, if you're still going to play it because I wanna know what people are doing and maybe I'll join in, but yeah. I can smell it, it smells good. Unbox it. Sup? Whoa! It looks nice. just like it did. No, it does look really cute. Yeah, it's a nice box. Give you the, the pan over. Look at this illustration. Tuna plus crispy rice is spicy tuna crispy rice. quickly tidied up a bit. It's not perfect, but it's a lot more clean. I also watered my plants this morning. They actually really need um, a repot. If you'll notice, this monstera is growing like really quickly. Like if you watch my videos from when I first moved in, um, maybe I'll put a clip in here or something, but like the plant looks so much smaller. I really feel like it, it's grown. Um, 
very fast, but the bottom of this little pot that I got it in focuses, yeah, the roots are really coming out, so I, I kind of want to put it in a bigger one. I'm also having a really simple breakfast. I honestly, like, this is so random, but I love grapes. Something I like to do outside of my regular grocery haul is on my morning walk, I'll like stroll to the grocery store and pick up like a couple items that I just like really want to eat throughout the week. Um, I don't know why I don't do it on my regular grocery haul, but it's kind of nice to just like pop in and pick up like two kinds of things that I want to eat for that day. Um, and I've been really enjoying getting myself like a nice focaccia bread from the bakery section and also fruit. I've been eating a lot of fruit lately, <laughs> um, particularly strawberries and grapes because sometimes the grapes go on sale and I'll like get a bag and I'll get home in the morning and I'll like wash them and like eat it and snack throughout the day. And it's really the little things like an homage to the shirt I designed. Like it genuinely is like the little things that make life really, really wonderful. Um, that's so cheesy, but the little things that spark joy throughout our days, which is very important to me. Anyways, today I am probably going to start editing this video just cause I want to get it up and I haven't posted a video in a while. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and yeah, I will see you in my next one, which will hopefully be in like two weeks or so. Take care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.